Hello everyone, hope you are doing all awesome today. So today is a new tutorial and it's going to be a bit technical. So today I will show you guys how you can install XAMPP on your Mac. I know that most people prefer using MAMP on your Mac but uh, MAMP has now updated its whole system and it's a bit it's overwhelming uh, for newbies and plus uh, yeah, they are trying to push the pro version which you have to buy but XAMPP is still free so today I, uh, to in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can install download install XAMPP on your Mac and also install WordPress on your Mac so first thing that you have to do is that you have to visit their website if you don't know which it is just uh, search for download XAMPP for Mac and once uh, it loads this is the site apachefriends.org download.html I'll put a link on the description uh, just click it okay it's here uh, from here you need to go a bit down and this one XAMPP for OS X and from here don't go for this XAMPP VM just go for this one 7.2.12 7 uh, oh uh, there is a latest version called 7.1.24 we are going to go for this one if you click the download option the download will begin uh, I have already downloaded it so I am not going to download it again so once you download it so it would be on your download folder and here uh, you just uh, go you just click the XAMPP option one. so once you click the icon uh, this menu will appear and as you can see uh, your system is verifying the DMG file and once it's done now it's gonna mount the file so that it can install the software so now it's here and uh, you'll see this screen and what you have to do is that you just click it and uh, drop it on the application folder and once you do that then um, then as you can see now the whole uh, uh, all the files related to XAMPP is getting uh, moved to the application folder it's gonna take some time so uh, not to worry and uh, <clears throat> once it is done we are going to create a local host uh, we are going to create a, create a database and we are also going to see how uh, we can install WordPress on your on your XAMPP local host so that you can do theme development and do WordPress website development and other sorts of stuff so okay it's installed so now what you have to do is that you have to go to application folder and from there one minute. Uh, yeah you have to go to the application folder and from here uh, click XAMPP this one or you can also go from launchpad you will find an icon on launchpad as well this one so you can use this one as well when you open this one at uh, for the first time it's gonna verify the application and you will also have to give security access to for this application to run on your Mac cause like as you know if you download any software from other sources then app store then you have to give access so i uh, not to worry i'll show you how you can do it it's really easy so this is the one uh, you uh, you have been asked like xamp is an app downloaded from the nrc do to open it yes i want to open it and it's ok it's on right now you might have to give the password from here as well if you have if you face any sorts of problem while installing this software just comment below and i'll help you out so no need to worry so let's get on to the point so from from here what you have to do is that uh, first you have to uh, you can just click the start option sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so the best option would be uh, to uh, you just click the option from here start right so click the start from here and once the video once the uh, XAMPP starts working you will see the status it will go green and also the IP address okay 
as you can see the green uh, green signal is on and the IP address is showing and now you have to go to services and turn on Apache and turn on MySQL and if you want you can turn on Pro FTPD as well so it's done uh, it's working so now uh, the first question is where you should go to see the local host uh, so for that what you need to do you can turn on any of this option I prefer this one localhost colon 8080 just enable it so if you now go to localhost 8080 you will see amp apache plus mariadb plus php dot par page so not to worry so if you see this one XAMPP is working that's the thing like when you see this page it means that XAMPP is working so from here what you need to do is that you need to install WordPress on your XAMPP so for that uh, you can manually go there but I prefer going from here click the volume option and from here slash opt slash lamp just click mount once you click mount you will see that there is a new option right here uh, this one 192.168.64.2 just uh, if you are using several servers localhost then uh, just uh, ensure that this is this one's match 162.2 162.2 uh, this one okay so go to lamp and from here mm -hmm. here go to ht docs right here and from here uh, you need to paste wordpress here right so it's a uh, normally it is there but if you want you can copy paste it as again so downloads wordpress go to 192.168 here htdocs from here paste it here uh, let's replace this one okay now it's done so from here what you need to do is that you need to extract this while it is extracting let's create a new folder called uh, web1 we are going to put all the files from this uh, wordpress file to the folder that we have just created which is called web1 while we are waiting for wordpress to get extracted uh, uh, so that we can use it let's create a data new database so from here what you need to do is that uh, just remove this section and write php my admin okay it's here so on this dashboard you need to create a new database cause uh, as you know to run wordpress you need to have a database and we are going to create a new one and from new uh, let's create a new one let's name it uh, no db no create okay it's been created so save this uh, save or remember this uh, the name of this database because we are going to need it while we are installing wordpress on your local host so let's see so it's all, almost at the end so uh, once we create the local once we install the wordpress on your local host is uh, the url will be uh, web one okay so if we try it now you will see that it it is not working it will show nothing because nothing has been installed on this folder or so uh, you have to wait a bit okay so it's done now you have all you have to do is that press ctrl a copy and post and paste every all the wordpress files to this folder called web1 okay so all the files have been transferred from from here what you, you have to change just a single file which is called uh, wp hyphen config hyphen sample uh, open it with you can open it with text edit i prefer working with sublime text it's a really cool notepad file uh, oh sorry text editor so yeah it's on so from here uh, this one uh, wp hyphen config hyphen sample so from here uh, we database name is uh, nov db right 
so if you are not sure just go to here php hyphen admin and you will see this one knob db right so let's go here knob db the username will be root and there will be no password do remember to have these two these two marks uh, don't delete any of these and just click save done saving it just click this one or from right click uh, uh, right click rename and config enter so it's done okay so now as it is done what you need to do is that you need to remember the last time we tried there was nothing let's refresh it and now you will see the install.php at the end which means that now we can install wordpress so from here site title would be let's say web one username give admin admin but i highly recommend you not to use this uh, this sort of a uh, username and password while creating a site live on the server because it, it, it is really easy for people to get hack a website if the username and password is admin as you are using it on a local host so you can do it no problem and for on as an email uh, and as for email use admin at the rate of admin okay now click install wordpress it is easier for me to remember admin 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 at the rate of admin so for that reason i am using it if you want you can use something else no problem so it uh, wordpress has been installed so now uh, let's try it admin admin and click the login option and let's see if it is working or not so as you can see we have successfully installed wordpress and uh, now we can we can edit or we can do all sorts of stuff with our with our website so yeah that's how you install xamp on your website on your mac and also install wordpress on your xamp local host so thank you very much for uh, for watching this video if you like this video or if you have found it helpful don't forget to like and do subscribe to my channel and on next uh, on some next tutorial i will also show you how you can edit the edit wordpress if you are complete newbie and uh, you are just starting i will i will make a video to show you how you can create post pages and menus and edit your website and create a beautiful website uh, using xam so yeah thank you very much and i'll see you on my next one until then take care bye bye